Good evening. The News 4 Tucson investigators have significant new information tonight about a project that could bring as many as 2,000 jobs to Tucson. Yes, investigator Matthew Schwartz has obtained the development plans that sources say are for the online retail giant Amazon coming here. It's an investigator's report. A huge Amazon warehouse like this one in Phoenix is, according to numerous sources, coming to Tucson. It would be built here on the southeast side near I-10 and Cold Road. The News 4 Tucson investigators have obtained the official draft of the development plans for Project Wildcat at Century Park. Drawn up by Rick Engineering of Tucson, the plans contain measurements similar to other Amazon facilities around the country. The warehouse and office would be 857,000 square feet. That's almost 20 acres. The most important numbers, not in the plans, but from sources, the development would bring between 1,500 and 2,000 jobs to Tucson. The plans list the developer as Seafried Industrial Properties, which has developed other Amazon buildings. According to a story in the trade magazine, Arizona Builders Exchange, the architect is Ohio-based Ford & Associates, and that firm has designed Amazon buildings in Brooklyn, New York, and Winchester, Kentucky. Public records show the property is owned by Lucky Levine Railroad, LLC. We wanted to ask Pima County officials to expand upon the development plans for Project Wildcat that we obtained, but no one would talk about it. In fact, we we're struck by how quickly and strongly they declined comment. That's because non-disclosure agreements have been signed by the principals. We called and emailed many of them. County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry emailed us saying, no one will talk about it. An email from Sun Corridor, the group that works on job and investment growth, says due to non-disclosure agreements and board policy on confidentiality, we are not able to share project information. Rick Engineering, Seafried Industrial Properties and Ford Architects did not return our calls. So we filed a public records request with Pima County seeking any and all documents mentioning Century Park and or Amazon. The response? Pima County has entered into a non-disclosure agreement with the developer of these properties and are in the process of notifying the company of the public records request. The company has 10 days from the date of notification to provide a court order protecting the information per the NDA. Of course, the county does not name the company. A, a government agency or entity can't contract away the public's right to know. Uh, by entering into a non-disclosure agreement with a private corporation. Uh, John Riches is you know, the director right of national the litigation with the Goldwater Institute, the conservative government. think tank and, uh, based in Phoenix. So. He says he isn't planning any legal action at this point, but thinks the non-disclosure agreement violates Arizona's public records laws. You can't keep secret the public's uh, business and um, the, the company in this case, Amazon should very well know that they're seeking to do business with the government and the Sources say the Amazon warehouse and distribution center is scheduled to be completed by June of next year. Aside from the argument regarding the non-disclosure agreement, if Amazon does come here, local leaders say it would be a big boost for the economy and for Tucson's image. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call 955-4444. Investigating for you, Matthew Schwartz, News 4 Tucson. An Amazon spokesperson told us late today, quote, we don't comment on rumor or speculation.